Welcome back to Neon Trash, guys. I'm your host, Tommy the Hammer. How y'all motherfuckers doing? Good, I hope. It's been a while since I've done a solo flight review. I've got this double feature red carpet collection of the late 1980s movie, Parents, starring Randy Quaid. And it also comes with a movie called Fear, which is starring Ellie Sheedy. The film Parents we're not gonna be doing today, mainly because I wanna review that with me and the rest of the Neon Trash crew. I feel like that's the perfect movie to watch in a group setting. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the movie Fear. You guys get the trailer, check that shit out, and when we get back, you're gonna know my opinion on the movie. All I want is a normal life. Is that so wrong? Casey Bridges was born with a gift. When I come in contact with an object, I begin to uh, pick up sensations from it. Where's the car, darling? Still on the interstate. The ability to see deep into the mind of others. How do you handle dealing with kidnappers and murderers? Well, I don't deal with them, really, face to face. An observer looking through the eyes of a killer. The killer's calling card is written in blood. A psychic safely concealed from her quarry hidden until now it's the killer it's the shadow man he's talking to me feel it casey it's the fear there's no other rush like in the world casey break away i can't fear a psychological suspense thriller. it says on the back of this dvd case that the movie fear was released in 1990 well the overall movie itself has a very distinct late 80s vibe to it. And I was reading online that this movie actually didn't get a theatrical release. Rather, it was bought up by the company Showtime and released on their channel back in the day. At its core, fear is a jalio. You don't know who the killer is, and there's definitely some tense moments on screen. As a matter of fact, I felt like the movie would have, you know, felt right at home with, you know, canon films and all those hard-boiled, gun-centric crime thrillers from the 1980s. But, you know, the plot itself is, you know, nothing terribly original, and I found myself thinking about the movie, you know, as I was watching it and who the killer might be and where it's going with the overall plot, and, you know, it doesn't really take you down any complicated, you know, avenues in terms of the overall narrative. If you're like me, and you enjoy movies of that era, you like, you know, checking out the styles and the music and the overall mood and atmosphere that was, you know, prevalent in films like this uh, in the late 80s and the early 1990s, then definitely check it out. And especially if you get this red carpet uh, release of the film coupled with the movie Parents, I feel like that's a steal. At the end of the day, what would I give the movie Fear out of 10 stars? Mm. Since it didn't really, you know, blow my mind and rock my socks off, I think I can only award the film maybe a six, six and a half out of ten. 